So we're on site again, and this time I'm with JT. What are you up to today, JT? I've just been extending a lighting circuit from a single pendant into six down lighters in a garage room of a domestic dwelling. So I'm gonna be seeing a little bit of first and second fixing, and then we're gonna progress on, hopefully, and complete a minor work certificate, as this is part of our domestic installers course. And of course, the qualifying supervisor will oversee the final test. So we're here currently, a little bit of first and second fixing on some lighting circuit followed by a minor work certificate. We'll try and show you some of those elements in this video presentation. I'm now going to recheck polarity, but first I need to make sure that my test leads are correct. Let's pop these in. Let's see, you get the readings. Excellent. We can now carry out the test on the board. I'm now going to check supply polarity and carry it out in the correct procedure. Using the earth bar and line, removing, removing, earth bar and neutral. Put on the reading, remove, remove and then between line and neutral. Neutral on first, line bar. We have our reading. Ensure we're moving away now, line neutral. I'm now gonna do carry out the same test, but ensure that the switch across the unit is also dead. So carry out the same test. Earth line at the bottom, no lights is what we require. Come off, earth neutral, still no lights is what we require. And eventually, between the two here, neutral first, and line, nothing. So we can see that the board is now dead. Now we've finished completing all the tests, we need to ensure that our voltage indicator is still working correctly. Back in. Excellent. It means our test readings were correct. I'm now going to carry out continuity of CPC and polarity on my modified lighting circuit. I've already zeroed my leads, so I'm good to go. I'm now going to test the continuity of the lighting circuit. I'll come to the furthest point and I'm going to test between CPC and the switch in live. We've got our reading. I'm now going to work my way back through the lighting circuit towards the consumer board, seeing the reading go further down, but I also want to test for polarity by flipping the switch and see, see the readings change. I now have my reading, 1.3, break the switch and see the reading change. Off the charts, nine, nine, nine. I'm now working my way down the lighting circuit. I'm gonna do the, carry out the same test to see the readings go down. Between CPC, and switch live. And we can see the reading is down at 1.14, down from 1.3. And get Gary to switch, flip the switch. And we see the reading has gone off the charts again. Excellent. Now we're going to carry out insulation resistance test. We've connected the live conductors together and we're going to test between here and the earth bar and uh, accept a reading of above one mega ohm. Let's carry out this test. Earth bar. And as you can see the reading is still climbing. still climbing. We can accept that it's well over 500 mega ohms. I never tested between live conductors because I can't guarantee that all lamps have been removed. We're now going to carry out the earth fault loop impedance test. We've got two lead high because we've got no RCD in place and these comply with GS38. The measured value of ZS was 1.13 ohms. The calculated value of ZS was ZE plus R1 plus R2, taking the maximum reading for ZE 
to be 0 0.35 ohms and added it to the R1 plus R2 reading that we achieved of 1.3 ohms, the calculated ZS of the circuit was 1.65 ohms. Only by measuring the loop impedance of the circuit, ZS, a test which is live, do we know that we are connected to an external earth source. By calculation, we do not prove this. We only have the reading for R1 plus R2 in circuit. We have no knowledge of connection to the supply authority's earth external to the building. So it was a small insight into some of the expectations I put on my domestic installer learners. We didn't show in the video presentation the completion of his test paperwork. We also didn't show all his pre-planning paperwork, things like method statement, risk assessments, etc. But they were all in place.